compact 250 foot pounds 3.3 cfm at 90 8 gallon or larger <coughs> excuse me uh you know that's what it says here i got a 20 gallon uh, tank that i got just a little while ago i did a uh, unboxing sort of a half ass review on that thing anyway this tool out of the box i'll just i have two little stories i guess to tell you and you can take from it what you want but in from the beginning uh i set this uh i fumble cobbled this here put it in the device and, and um torqued it down to 250 because i see a lot of people on uh, you you know on youtube that have you taken their air gun product review and shown done the test and they've shown that hey you know they're lying to you it, you're not getting that and they've tested it and so on so i said you know i'm sick of i'm sick of being lied to when i buy products because the compressor i just bought the 20 gallon it's supposed to give me 5.7 cfm not sc fm but cfm at 90 so this that compressor that's running running uh it says running pressure it should just keep up with this thing plus gain pressure in the tank but huh, don't even get me started that's a lie so i said well you know what i'm a curious person so i said i'm going to test this one right out of the box and see if it gives me the 250 reverse right so i did i set this up torqued it down to 250 with the torque wrench about five seconds or so it took it off done right at least i got something that they actually advertise accurately so I, I used it for quite a bit and then one day i was thinking you know i was trying to get a nut off and it seemed like this thing was almost able to do it and I'm thinking, well, you know what? I wish I could just get more power out of this thing. So then I came in. and I'm not endorsing this, by the way. Disclaimer, ding, ding. This is for entertainment purposes, you know. Um, I drilled, took this off and drilled this out as much as I felt comfortable. I didn't go all the way. I don't, I'm not drilling into the meat, what's in the, in the, uh, the tool, and I'm not drilling into where the nut is because it it only goes down so far and then this all widens out anyway so i just drilled out the, the inlet and i was surprised how small they are really until but i drilled this out then there's a screw here you take the screw out and this is all one piece but on the other side there's a, a tube right and that tube because this has four settings four being the more powerful there's four holes in you know bear with me if you all you know if you know all this but hey right maybe someone don't um there's four holes one gradually bigger until you get up to number four and uh, i seen that i took that out and i looked at it and i was like man that for number four it was almost this it, it wasn't I couldn't even hardly tell. I didn't measure it with the caliper, but uh, I, it would look the same size. Number three and number four almost look the same size. So I drilled that out as much as I could, really. Now I, I understand there's a limit because you only got a, you know so much uh, so much air supply anyway. So I know there's a limit no matter how big you go. But I drilled it out. You know, quite it, it was. Bigger than number three, let's just say that, right? As much as I could. Put it back in, and I said, well, you know what? I know it can take uh, 250 off from the box. So I put this back, and I torqued down 250. And I don't have anything else to um, measure beyond 250 foot, 250 foot-pounds. So... Um, what I seen online, what I calculated with my weight at uh, 24 inches, right? If I lift my weight off 24 inches from the nut, 
it would give me 451 foot pounds. Not bouncing up and down, but lift your weight off. Understand? Now, if that's true, that's not my calculation. That's what I got on an engineering site. You put in the calcul the, the, the tool that they have in it. Well, I'll tell you the distance and how much weight, blah, blah. Right? Now, we're going to go with the assumption that that's absolutely correct. So, 450 foot pounds. Same hose, same pressure, stuck the gun on. And in about the same amount of time that it took out of the box for it to take the 250, it took off what I'm assuming is an accurate measurement of 450 foot pounds. Now, you can take that and get from that whatever you will. I'm not saying, you know, if this was a cheaper tool anyway, it was on sale. It, it seems to be good quality, in, in my opinion. I haven't owned, you know, dozens or anything. I don't work professionally with them, but it does seem like a very heavy-duty quality tool. Uh, I have taken it apart and looked inside because, you know, Curious George, I guess, was my favorite cartoon. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, see how it all works and stuff, and it seems to be all good quality. But... Uh, yeah, so that's all I did. So if that's all accurate measurements, this gun I've taken off 450 foot pounds. So that's all I got to say about the tool. Um, right out of the box, it's a good tool. Uh, it will take off the 250, no problems. I do run 125 PSI with 100 foot hose, so it gives me just over 90, just about 95 foot pound at the tool um so yeah if you're looking for a like a light duty sort of deal 250 foot pounds is going to be accurate for you that's going to be enough for you then i would recommend this this product okay uh thanks guys i know that i probably said a lot for such a simple tool um I don't I can't think of anything else to tell you other than it comes with you know now it don't have some have a grease fitting not a grease fitting but a thing you could the screw you can take out and and I ordered a bigger one actually different different name but uh more supposed to have 740 foot pounds well we will see I'm going to probably test that out but um but this one is good out of the box. It will definitely give you 250 foot-pounds of torque. Um, so, yeah, I figured I'd uh, just do a, a quick uh, little review on this thing. Thanks again, guys, for subscribing. And if you got any any comments or questions, you can put it down below. Uh, 